Okay. Uh, here's an example of a possible problem um, that you may uh, come across for calculating force. So it's illustrated on the top. It says, um, I suppose you could say A field rather than the field. How much force is needed to move the drill? I guess I don't know what the actual uh, machinery name is that you would be utilizing for it. Nobody knows it's a big track that has to do that because that drill or whatever it is that's putting that tile in the, in the ground has to probably get into the ground, I'm, I'm guessing, somewhere around three feet. And, uh, takes quite a bit of force and horsepower to actually pull that along. So if that actually has um, this size of 6,200 kilograms, this drill that we're talking about to put the tile into the ground uh, and moving to a top speed of 3.60 meters per second. Okay. So remember, it's asking for the force. And there are three variables in Seconds earlier, the tractor was moving only at eight, uh, zero point eight four meters per second. So here again, it's not. It's just saying something about speed. It's not telling you the mass is this, the force is this. It says speed. It doesn't say the acceleration is this. This is why again, it's so important that you write down the information that you actually know in this problem. All right. So with that, again. This is what we're looking for, looking for the force, okay? And we don't know what that is, but since this is labeled in kilograms, it's just saying what the size is. So kilograms we know is a mass. Okay. So I'm gonna stop there for a moment to see or allow. We won't go through it here and work through it. I'm going to go through it and benefit as much as what we would in a face to face class session. Okay. So we have pointed out in the right direction a little bit. We've got the math. So I want you to take a few minutes, see how you're going to proceed forward from here. Actually, need the extra help. Okay, so we've got our mass, and we know that this is a velocity. It says speed, but we know it's a velocity because it's labeled in meters per second. So we can just go ahead and put a V here 3.60 meters per second. And the clue here is it says two seconds earlier the tractor was moving at this speed. So then uh, we know it's a speed or velocity, again, because it's labeled in meters per second. And I don't have a calculator down here, so I'm not going to be able to figure it out either. But we are pointing in the right direction here. Okay. And we also got this time here of two seconds. So the last thing we need to do is figure out what these are actually meaning here. Two seconds earlier. So what that means is this came first. So if it came first, this is the initial velocity, and then this is a final velocity. So once you would put this in your equation, this will give you your acceleration because that we didn't know. And we also did not know the force because we're looking for that. So finish this. Of course, we would say our acceleration equals what we have on top. Again, we don't need to be looking up here. That's why we've got this information down here. 3.60 meters per second. 
zero minus zero point eight four, and then that's all over two. Subtract them two, divide by two, and then that would then give you acceleration. So then our force equals whatever that value was, plug into down here, times our mass, which was simply 200, and then that will give you your force that we delivered. All right, not a whole, whole lot of uh, difficulty here, we hope. And again, this is probably where it's not so difficult. It's actually getting this information down. Here we have some explosions in the crowd, and we will catch up to you.